So how do we apply the science of broccoli and sulforaphane to our daily lives? I'm going to talk to you about how you can grow your own broccoli sprouts at home for you and your family. So growing your broccoli sprouts is, is actually really easy. You only need a few supplies um, and a little bit of time. It's really quite satisfying because you go really from these broccoli seeds uh, to five days later, uh, a whole jar full of, of yummy uh, broccoli sprouts. So I'm going to go over uh, some of the things that you need and how to do it. So let's get to it. So you don't need a lot. So what you need, um, we grow our broccoli sprouts in a mason jar. So that this is our broccoli uh, sprout growing vessel. Um, we'll need to fashion uh, a way to drain uh, the water from your growing vessel and we'll need some broccoli seeds. Um, so first off to make uh, the draining piece, um, I simply get a, a mesh stainless steel, um, Simply draw a circle on um, the, the size of your mason jar um, and cut this out. Um, and then we're going to fix that um, onto our, our lid. You can also uh, pre-purchase uh, pre-made uh, mesh grids um, if you want to as well. Um, you also, you don't have to use the stainless steel. You can use uh, plastic ones as, as well, um, or you can even use a cheesecloth. It's just something to be able to, to drain um, the, the water from your seeds. So the broccoli seed uh, I have pictured here, um, there's nothing terribly special about the broccoli seeds that you need to, to get. Um, I do recommend trying to purchase um, seeds that are meant for sprouting. Um, that tends to have slightly better yield than the seeds that are geared for growing broccoli in the soil, but you can get these at any uh, of your uh, local garden store. The first thing that we need to do is clean our broccoli seeds. Uh, one of the biggest, um, uh, concerns with consuming broccoli sprouts or any sprouts is potential bacteria or microbial contamination. So even if your seeds are certified, I highly recommend to just as a safe measure, um, sanitize and, and clean your seeds so they're free of any bacteria. Um, and the way that we do this is we use very, very um, diluted bleach. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, uh, you can also use undiluted uh, vinegar, white vinegar, apple side of vinegar, um, but I'm going to show you the way that we do it uh, with the bleach. So what we do, I've already added water to our mason jar. Um, I'm going to add one quarter teaspoon of, of bleach um, to here. We'll just give that um, a bit of a mix. So it's again, very um, diluted bleach solution. I have one tablespoon of uh, broccoli seed that I'm going to add. Um, if you have a larger jar, um, you can also use larger jar, quart, uh, half gallon. Um, here's an example of a half gallon. Uh, half gallon, I usually add one quarter cup of seed. Uh, for the quart, I add two tablespoons. So we are going to uh, take this. Uh, let me make a bit of another stir. Um, and now we're going to let that cleaning solution do its bacteria uh, killing. So I'm going to go ahead and set a timer uh, for 15 minutes um, and let that uh, cleaning solution do its job. So after 15 minutes have, have gone by, um, I'm going to take my lid with that screen uh, on top. And I'm gonna rinse this out really, really well. So I have a makeshift sink here. I'm gonna dump out uh, the water. Uh, I'm gonna do this at least 10 times. So I recommend for about 10 minutes to constantly add more water, dump it out, add more water, swirl it around, dump it out, and do that for about 10 minutes to ensure um, you've got all that cleaning solution gone. Uh, when we come back, um, after the sleeves are clean, the next step is to soak our seeds. Uh, and this will allow for that sprouting. So I'm gonna add water back to our mason jar, um, about two thirds full. And this time I'm not gonna dump it. I'm just gonna allow the, the seeds to sit. I'm gonna swirl it around just to get all the seeds in there. And this is gonna sit um, overnight um, in a, a dark place away from sunlight for 12 hours. Um, so we're gonna take that away. 
And then for the next few days, um, morning and night, what we're going to do is take this jar and rinse it out um, just a couple times. So again, don't need to take your lid off. Um, just simply dump out the water, uh, add water back in, and then just do that uh, a couple times. Just to rinse out the seeds. And at this point, we want the seeds to try to remain a little bit dry. Um, so we want to now store the seeds. I like to take the jar, tap it along the little side just to spread out the seeds on the walls a little bit. And then we're gonna place it on an angle um, in, a, in a bowl. Um, you can uh, purchase you know, sprouting kits that will help hold the angle, but I find just putting it in a bowl where it's perfectly fine. This allows this to drain uh, over, over time. Uh, and we're gonna do that every day, morning and night for the next uh, few days, rinse um, and drain. So what we'll see over the next few days, so here are our seeds that we've started. Um, they've been sanitized and rinsed. And again, we're just gonna keep them out of direct sunlight um, and every day rinse them twi twice a day. And you'll see in a couple days, we'll start to see some of our uh, sprouts to, to emerge uh, by uh, usually around day four, so three days after, you'll start to see significant sprouts. And then by day four, you'll see quite a bit of sprouts. Um, you can harvest them at this point if you wanted to. I tend to let them go um, until day six, so five full days after we've prepared them and I get a nice big full um, cup of, of broccoli sprouts. Um, what I do afterwards is I dump the sprouts out into a bowl with some water, um, simply uh, mix them around a little bit uh, to help dissociate those seed hulls from the sprouts, um, throw them in a colander to drain them a little bit, and then further dry them onto uh, a towel. These sprouts are ready to consume. Um, you can throw them in your soups or your salads. Um, you can also freeze them away if you don't want to consume them. The sprouts are generally good for about three to five days. Store them in the refrigerator. Um, again, try to keep them dry dry if you can. If you can't consume them in that, uh, in that time, you can throw them in the freezer. Um, if you are going to use those frozen sprouts, so that appears to retain um, that active enzyme, that myrosinase that we've been talking about, but you do want to use those frozen sprouts right away. Um, so throw them into your food processor, your blender for a smoothie. Don't allow them to thaw too much, um, otherwise you'll lose that sulforaphane. So um, I hope you can try this at home and uh, you uh, enjoy uh, your broccoli sprouts.